Hey guys, I'm back to talk about the nucleus and the ribosome. Uh, I hope both of these are not foreign terms to you. And uh, from the diagram here, you can see where the nucleus is. The nucleus is this structure right here. All right, and within that structure, there is a darkened region, which is the nucleolus, which we're going to talk about. There's chromatin or chromatin is found inside the nucleus. And there also has composed of a nuclear envelope or nuclear envelope, as we would say in Dubin County. Now, not only do you have this, you also have ribosomes. Ribosomes are the most numerous organelle in a cell. Uh, so we're going to briefly talk about each one of those. Start out with the nucleus. The main function of the nucleus is to protect DNA. DNA is the copy of all life. I mean, it, it codes for everything about us. And it has a unique property where it's unable to leave the nucleus. So the DNA is, is protected by the nucleus. The nucleus houses chromatin, which is simply packed up chromosomes. Remember, there are 46 chromosomes in the human body. And it's this, these massive genes are found inside the nucleus. Now, when you think about the structure of the nucleus itself, the nucleus is double membrane bound, uh, or has double membranes, has a nuclear envelope that has pores in it. These pores allow for macromolecules to come in and out of the nucleus. Now, and I think macromolecules, it's not only ribosomes that may be produced, it's um, you know, carbohydrates, um, lipids, etc. like that. Also think of DNA, nucleic acids. All right. Now, a particular region in the nucleolus, and you can see down here in the picture of uh, what it might look like, the nucleolus is the site of ribosome production. You know, basically it, it is built by a subunit of uh, rRNA, which is ribosomal RNA, I hope you remember that, and proteins. They're put together, and they they leave the nucleus through the nuclear pores, and they assemble themselves oftentimes in the cytoplasm itself. So when you look at the ribosome, the ribosome's main job is to produce proteins, or what we would call protein synthesis. Uh, the structure, as I said, is RNA and a protein, and these Ribosomes can be found in several different forms. They can be found as free ribosomes, which means they're not attached to anything. They're just located in the cytosol or the cytoplasm. And they can be bound ribosomes, which means they're found on the ER or the endoplasmic reticulum. Now, in particular, the ER we talk about a lot of times is the rough ER. The rough ER is where these bound uh, ribosomes would be. They produce proteins, and then those proteins are exported to make things such as the membrane by the endoplasmic reticulum. Um, now, this is just an in-depth picture. I just wanted to show you a little bit closer. And you see the pores here. These are the pores within the nuclear envelope, which allows things to come in and out. And you can actually see the bilayer that we have created. You know, you have and you you have an outer and an inner membrane. Um, and in the middle, you have what you have what's called the uh, lamina. Um, so I just wanted to make sure you understood um, what the term nuclear lamina might mean. All right. Um, the last picture here, I just wanted to show you an actual picture of free ribosomes, which are located here, and bound ribosomes, which are found on this endoplasmic reticulum here. All right. That's so just a brief overview of... I mean, excuse me, of nucleus and ribosomes. I hope this helps, and I will talk to you soon.